Let's talk about Acoustic Echo Cancellation, or AEC, and the way that you can incorporate it into your QSIS design. Now, at its simplest, AEC is a process applied to the telephone call that prevents the talkers from hearing the echo of their own voices. In AEC jargon, there are two locations, the near end and the far end. The near end is typically a conference room with integrated loudspeakers in the ceiling or in the table and at least one microphone. The far end is the remote caller, maybe in their hotel room or their car, etc. Hello, can, can you hear me? The problem with this telephone call is that the far end caller's voice is broadcast from the loudspeakers in the near end room. Can you hear me? Where it travels directly into the microphone and is transmitted back to the far end. Can you hear me? In addition, this direct path is one of only many ways that the voice could go to re-enter the microphone. It could bounce off a wall, it could bounce off a person in your room, it could bounce off a wall against a water bottle, back against a wall, into the back of your head, onto the ceiling and down again. These are known as acoustic reflections, or echoes. And since these acoustic paths all have different physical lengths, they result in different time delays from the loudspeaker to the microphone. And as the sound travels through the air and bounces off of various surfaces, it becomes distorted as different frequencies are absorbed and attenuated, and all of this is sent back to the far end. The average latency of telephone audio is about 50 milliseconds, which means that as the far end talker speaks, he'll hear all these reflections of his own voice return to him 100 milliseconds later. Are you hearing this echo? Because I'm, 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 I'm having a lot of trouble understanding, understanding, what, you're saying, understanding, understanding what, what you're saying. Which is guaranteed to make anyone tongue tied. My side is, my side really, is really, really, echoey. Really, really echoey. A natural solution to this would be to simply turn down the volume on the return signal while the far end is talking. But the problem with that is that that means everyone in the near end room has to wait until the far end talker is done. Uh, try having a productive business meeting with walkie talkies and you'll see that this kind of one at a time communication simply isn't an option. So that's where AEC comes in. AEC eliminates the return echo while preserving the near end talkers. Now this may sound like a simple thing, and it's easy to take it for granted. Most people use it all the time without realizing it. Whenever you use a speakerphone on your home telephone, or Skype with PC speakers, you're using AEC devices. Now you don't notice what's happening because, well, that's the point. But take it away, and you'll notice it then. So, how does AEC work? Well, for most people, a good answer would be magic. Uh, just be happy that it works and then go about your business. But for you, you want more answers. So in the next section, we're going to take a look inside the AEC component at all the various subsystems that comprise this complete speech enhancement system.